chance here with a new ukulele tutorial. This week, let's learn a really cool doo-wop song, A Teenager in Love by Dion and the Belmonts. This song is ideal for beginners or for someone who wants to learn a new song but doesn't have much time, as it only uses four very simple chords, C, A minor, F, and G. By the way, if you're looking for more songs like this, check out this playlist and don't forget to check out my Instagram page for a lot of cool ukulele tips. You can find the link in the description. Having said that, let me show you the chord shapes that you need for this song. So you have C, A minor, F, and G. And now let's start working on the verse. The strumming pattern for the verse goes like this. Three, four, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. Let's play it one more time. Three, four, down, down, up, down, up, down. This is the chord progression for the verse, which is repeated four times. Let's follow it using the strumming pattern you've just learned. Three, four, C. too tricky, don't worry too much about it. Now let's work on the chorus. For this I'm gonna show you a slightly different strumming pattern. It's always better to use a different pattern for a different section of a song, but if you're running out of time, skip to the part where you can learn the chord progression for the chorus. So the strumming pattern for the chorus goes like this. Three, four, down, down, up, up, down. Let's play it one more time. Three, four, down, down, up, up, down. This is a very easy and useful strumming pattern. And in case you're struggling with the one I showed you before, you can use this one for the verse as well. This is the chord progression for the chorus, which is basically the same as the one of the verse. But this time you repeat it twice. The first time you play it, you simply follow the strumming pattern you just learned. For the second time instead, you have a few options. First of all, you can just use the same strumming pattern for the entire chorus. However, in the original recording, they just strum the first chord, C, once, and then they don't strum anything else. And so that's something that you could do. Something else that you could do, and that I'm actually gonna do, is to strum once for each chord. So it will go like this. Three, four, C, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, G, two, three, four. If you've noticed, I've stopped each chord. I didn't let them ring. So I didn't do this, C, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, but I did this, C, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four. Basically, after strumming each chord, I rested my left hand on the strings in order to mute them like this. And so on and so on. Having said that, let me play the chorus for you so that you understand better how it works. Three, four, C. So for the intro, they just play the chord progression of the verse twice. Nothing new for you, and you can use the same strumming pattern of the verse. For the outro, they just repeat the last line of the chorus, Why Must I Be a Teenager in Love, a few extra times. And so the chords will be the usual, C, A minor, F, and G. 
for the bridge instead, which I should actually call post-chorus as it's repeated twice in the song. And just to be clear, I'm talking about the part where they sing I cried a tear and so on and so on. You have a different chord progression and this is it. Again, you can just use the same strumming pattern you used in the verse. Let me play it for you. Three, four, F, G, F, G, F, G. Last time, F, G. And now you know how to play the entire song. So let's have a play along. I'm gonna be playing the intro, the verse and the chorus, and then you can decide how to arrange your own cover of A Teenager in Love. The tempo will be 155 BPM. Having said that, get ready, you're about to start playing. So the aim of this tutorial was to give you an overview of 18 Edger in Love so that you can put together your own cover of it. On my Patreon page you can find the chord chart and the backing tracks that you need for practicing this. You have three backing tracks, one at the original tempo, one slower and another one even slower. Moreover, let me tell you that on Patreon you have the option of sending me your own recording of this song and receiving personalized feedback from me. By the way, don't forget that if you learned something new from this video and you would like to say thank you, you can buy me a coffee, link in the description. That's all for now, let me know in the comments if you managed to learn this song. And if you want to take your playing to the next level, have a look at my free course here on YouTube and download my free A-Step Roadmap, link in the description, that will tell you the exact process of follow to learn the ukulele. Moreover, check out the other links in the description to learn more about the types of classes that I've got available at the moment. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my new tutorials. Having said that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week. Ciao!